this is the thing I like about Saturdays. One, no responsibility. Two, front row. Front, yeah, yeah, because nobody ever sits in the front row. And for me, well, even when they do, it can be problematic. On the first Friday of my show last year, I had a full front row. And 35 minutes into my show, the guy in the middle of the front row stopped, looked up, bah! all over his shoes, all over the stage, all over my shoes. And then he stayed perfectly still. I freaked out. I said, Don't you want to go up and clean or something? And he was like, Oh, don't want to interrupt the show. <laughs> I thought it was behind me then, this Tuesday. Only one person in the front row. Everyone else was situated throughout the room, one person in the front row. And she was gorgeous, like a little trooper, right down the front. I just wanted to say thank you to her for sitting in the front row. You know, and I said, look, thank you very much, man. Thank you, everyone else, for coming, but thank you for sitting in the front row. You're the bravest lady in this room. That is fucking awesome. And my brains chimed in and gone, that's not a lady, that's a man with long hair. <laughs> So sorry. Right? <laughs> Saw your hair. I mean, quite obviously, looking at you now, it's the lights, right? They're really bright. It's quite obvious you're not a lady. My brain's chimed in, got, sorry, my bad, it is a lady. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long show. <laughs> so, thank you very much for coming along. I, um, I appreciate the fact that you guys have come out to see the show. Obviously, without you guys, this is a very long self-indulgent word wank for me, so <laughs> having an audience is cool. And I appreciate the fact that you guys are brave enough to come and see a show called The Fistful of Rainbows. Yes. I know it's not easy to convince someone to come and see a show that sounds like a porno starring the Care Bears. <laughs> you know? So I appreciate your bravery. You know, I didn't realise the name of the show would be a problem until I got to Adelaide and I was flyering in the street. And I said to a guy, hey, do you want to see a fistful of rainbows? <laughs> he just looked at me with absolute disdain and said, no thanks, Fagatron. <laughs> How good is Fagatron? <laughs> excited about the word to be insulted. Like he was like, Fagatron? Like I would take it like a knife to the heart, but I took it like a flower, you know, and I was like, Fagatron! Do you know what I like to think a Fagatron is? It's like a version of Voltron, but made exclusively with famous homosexual men, but still saving the universe, right? So, like, uh, Elton John, Freddie Mercury, Liberace, Oscar Wilde, Tom Cruise, right in the face, I am Fagatron! <laughs> How awesome would that be? Saving the world with dance. <laughs> Such a good word though, but you can't, you know, it's meant to be a, a, a homophobic slur. I just want to take it and run with it. If you like someone, if you think they're awesome, let's make it the word for awesome. If you like someone, call them a faggotron. <laughs> Let them know what it means first. <laughs> call them a faggotron. If you like something, call it faggotronic. It's the, that's the adjective. <laughs> How was the show? Five faggotronic stars. <laughs> Helen Razor, the age. <laughs> so welcome to the show. It's, okay, so I like rainbows. Okay, it's, a, it's about rainbows. And I know rainbows freak some people out, but you know what? Get over it. They're fucking awesome. Right? They are awesome. I'll tell you why. Rainbows are the only thing in the world that will make you feel good for free. Lots of things will make you feel good. Right? Red wine makes you feel amazing. But those feelings of goodness are not free. Right? You have to pay them back the next day. Fucking like interest. But when you see a rainbow, it touches something inside of you and it makes you give you a little bit of... You know, because you get the rainbow. You look at it. You get a little bit of... And it's only a tiny bit. But it's there and it's real and it's awesome. Right? And when I first realised that, I thought, you know what, how good would it be if you could take that and like condense it down into something you could like put on a key ring. So every time you felt bad, you could have a little bit of a... <sighs> just imagine all those times you feel bad and you could just pull out a little bit of oh, on your key ring like that. And how good would they have? Like, oh, the dog left me. But... Oh, oh my girlfriend left me. But... Oh, <sighs> she left me for my dog. <laughs> Gonna need a bigger fucking ring. <laughs> and then I thought, you know 
know what? Let's not just limit it to small things. Let's fucking make them bigger. Let's take, like, let's amplify rainbows. Imagine if you can make one piece of them feel a little bit good. Like, if you could supersize them and make, like, giant rainbows, right? And if you could go through and deploy them at key moments in history. Like, history would be a different place with the skillful deployment of rainbows. You know, just at key moments where things were about to go really bad. If you had a time machine and a fistful of rainbows, just imagine what you could do. Like Germany, 1939, deploy a rainbow, right? Hitler's now on the frontier. Today, the event. <laughs> a party. <laughs> Sweet. But we can't, right? Because you, you, you can't touch rainbows. You can't, you can't take them anywhere. You can't deploy them yourself. But the good news is, is that they happen in more places than we think. You don't need rain for a rainbow, you just need a prism and a light source. You know, that's all you need, and someone to look at it. You know, you need an observer. If a rainbow falls in the forest, then who gives a fuck, right? You, know, you, you need to be there to watch it, right? But that's all you need. So you just need, like, sun, you, rain, you get a rainbow, right? Or a kitchen light, you, fish tank, you get a rainbow. Or, you know, care bear, you, leprechaun, you get a rainbow, right? You just need rainbow kind of ingredients. 